Welcome back. I'm playing Warhammer 40,000 Rites of War, and we will move on to the next scenario with all of our new Exarchs. Alright, and what do we got here? So we're coming up. Looks like all mountains over here. Imperial structure. Imperial structure. I'm guessing Imperial structure. And more Imperial structures up there. Is there another one up here? Yes, there is. So maybe we'll have to fly up there. All right. I think we got lots of options here. One of the many artillery-laden forts scattered across the mountaintop of the Great Pass. This fortress is the prime position to bombard surrounding lowlands, and only the bravest souls would dare pass against the will of the Emperor.
artillery laden forts scattered across the mountain top of the Great Pass. It was placed here long ago by the human colonists, wishing to protect the trade caravans crossing the mountains. Oh, I never captured this place. Lodged deep in the mountains, the secluded Imperial City of Millennia is well isolated from the ongoing hostilities. Towering spires and fluttering pennants soar high above the proud city, boasting some of the Imperium's most loyal citizens.
yeah, because pretty sure. Well, this guy's got a range of two, but it'd be one. Well, if you could get the kill, but then I'd have to ensure that he can't get attacked. I'm not sure I can. really helped or not. I don't think I captured that one yet. Alright, next one. <laughs>
Underneath a large petrified tree, you discover the Sword of Wrath, forged by the god Val. It is last wielded by the Phoenix Lord on the distant Crone world. in the ass or I'm not going to make it.
take him out. Just worried about these cannons over here. Bastions in the center defense of the Great Pass. The soldiers lining the walls of the compound fear the wrath of the Emperor more than the enemy. See, if I do that, and he's going to get a bunch of attacks on you. Now I gotta worry about the light. Shit. Yeah, nice. Victory. Got warp spiders. Now we are going to continue on this map. You can do that. You can come up here. You can come there. You can come up here. Just need to level everybody up. So let's see, you still need to get some attacks. You are fully leveled. You are fully leveled. You are fully leveled. You are fully leveled. You are nowhere near fully leveled. Your Terminator, your, your defeat of the Terminator was a severe blow to the defenders of Davin as they are now scattered. You gain 30 experience. Jerk. Oh, 
looks like a lot of them are max level now. Pretty sure I got everything here. I cannot explain the heart of this world now. She cries out to me still when her enemies lie blooded, when many of her treasures lie untouched by human hands. Indeed, I feel confusion and dissension within the ranks of our enemies. So why does the world still cry in pain? While this mystery calls to me, you have but a single concern. Our people, taken as prisoners and forced to endure long months in captivity, are now close at hand. Seek them out. Set them free. Maiden world, calm your soul, for we, your elder sons, stand proudly, ready to cleanse the surface of all who would poison your verdant grace. Space Marines have withdrawn. These warriors never retreat, yet they have abandoned their fellows. It is inexplicable, but it gives us an opportunity to rescue our own rescue. Find the positions where elder prisoners are likely held and free them. Beware of ambushes. Humans taking prisoners is odd behavior, even in times of war. We have 14 units that we can use and 40 turns. All right. I can get you trained up. I'll make it happen. Good investment. I can get you trained up. Good. Whether that's worthwhile or not, I'm not sure, but hopefully she'll be able to do some damage. The Swooping Hawks extra Exarch it represents the highest level of skill and proficiency possible for a warrior on the swooping hawk path. A warrior having achieved this level can never again experience any life or existence that is not dedicated completely to the warrior code. So pretty similar to every other Exarch. The Exarch's fanatical dedication. Uh, let's see, swooping hawk Exarch's will powerful last blasters, enable them to rain. Hail. A hail of suppressing fire. Their wings dazzling. Okay, so this is a little different. Their wings are colored in brilliant shades that create a dazzling polychromatic patterns in flight. Swooping hawks. Exarchs defend the sky above their embattled enemy, engaging enemy units. Yeah, this is pretty much the same story, so not a whole lot there. But I mean, we got you maxed, 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 not even halfway. You're doing pretty well. You've got some more to do. You are now max, not maxed. One of you has the stone. I'm um, guessing it's probably you. Yep. So I'll get that up, do that. Give you this. Oh. I'm going to take that away from you and give you Stone of the Phoenix instead. Oh, I already have something. Let's give them that. Good. What was this item that you got now? Uh, let's see, a special blade, Dire Avengers attuned to the enemy wrath, gain the ability of terrifying. So this needs to go to Dire Avengers. So we'll get 
that down. Let's see here. Warp skin. You could probably have an item. I don't plan on. Do I have multiple items? No, that guy never had one. I was just saying I had the possibility to give it to him. Okay, I see. Yeah, so that's rather disappointing. Because I have this maxed out. Oh, see here, I thought I was getting all the units and that's not the case. Range of one. That's got 19 armor. 13 armor. Eighteen armor. Thirty-three. I'm actually surprised they can't get Exarch skills. It says they're max level. Maybe I had already given them skills and I just don't remember. Alright, so that'll help make them tougher. Alright, I do want you to have crack shot. And I guess the question is, do I want you to have toughness? I don't plan on getting these guys attacked very often, is the whole thing, with how I play. So I feel like I want Master Warrior instead. Down to 60. Can I at least give him a crack shot, I guess. You're getting close to a level. Yeah, that's tough, because it's like, do I bring out another unit and start leveling him? Do I just focus on leveling the guys I have? you out. I might regret that decision, but I would like to get them upgraded and then maybe I can try some of these other units. Because I was kind of under the impression that I could just turn these guys into anything. I didn't realize they were totally separate paths here. Because I thought the thing with the Eldar is they could go deviate to different paths as they got sick with things. But, yeah, cause I haven't got to try the Banshees, I haven't tr got to try the uh, Dark Reapers, I haven't got to try the Warp Spiders. Now watch uh, with these... Um, I think we're going to rescue hostages, it said, for the objective here. So maybe I'll get some of these higher tier levels. That would be awful nice since, you know, if I could get maybe a falcon or a fire prism or some higher tier. Assuming we get fire prisms, I would be shocked if we didn't. 
Where to vehicle that that would be good for us because the bright lance I can barely use the damn thing because it's so squishy. So it gets to be very frustrating. So thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me to post more content for you. Thanks again to the subscriber that donated this game to the channel and will let us see what it's all about. Have a great day.